Hi there, Mandy from Designs by Miss Mandy, back again with another Illustrator tutorial. So today I want to share three totally awesome Illustrator tools. Um, I have tons of tools in Illustrator that I like to use on a daily basis, and the ones I'm going to focus on today all have to do with spacing. So let's get started. The first one I want to show you is called Split into Grid. And so for this one, I'm just going to start off with just a regular square. And what I'm going to do is you just, as you have the object selected, you're going to go to Object, then you're going to go to Path, and then click on Split into Grid. When you do that, you have this little window that pops up, and you can select a variety of things, including number of rows and number of columns. They do much what you would expect, and you can see the preview when you click Preview, how many rows and columns you want. You want more rows up that columns this one um, you can also increase the gutter which will put space in between them all you can create some pretty cool looking things and then it doesn't take hardly any time so I love how much time this saves you it's great if you're trying to make a collage so you want to make a collage with six pictures or something this is perfect uh, maybe you want to offset these a little bit, then just take your white arrow selection tool, um, your drag selection tool, and you can just select pieces of them and then drag it down, or take these sides and drag them over. You have this cool little asymmetrical collage going on, and it only took you like less than a minute. Pretty awesome. Okay. Another thing that this tool is good for is if you're making labels or something. I have an 8.5 by 11 artboard over here. And say I wanted to create some labels on an 8.5 by 11 sheet. Um, I could create them in a specific size and then try to fit them and center them on here. And an easier way to do it is just to do the split into grid tool. So once again, go to object, path, split into grid. And so say I want these to be kind of business card sized. So I can just um, add rows and columns until they look right, which they look about right there. If I want to add a gutter and put space in between them, I can do that. Really simple. Didn't have to mess with any spacing. If you do want to make them a specific height or width, you can. And it's just no problem at all. Okay, so that was the first one. The other spacing tool I wanted to show you today is called the Transform Again tool, but I like to call it the Duplicate tool. If you've seen any of my tutorials before, you've seen me use this tool. Um, but basically all it is is taking one object, so I have a square right here, and I am going to duplicate the move that I make with this. So say I want to copy this by holding Alt or Option, and I'm going to drag it right here. And then I want to do the exact same thing and leave the same amount of space. All I have to do is go to Object, Transform, Transform again, or shortcut Command D. That's why I always call it the Duplicate tool. It helps me remember. So if you just press Command D, then you get the exact same thing duplicated again. And you can do that over and over and over and over again. Really, really simple and will create great, perfect spacing with your objects. So the last thing I wanted to show you is called the Blend Tool. So this one does much the same thing as the Transform Again Tool or Duplicate Tool, but can be used in a variety of applications, especially for, for patterns. Uh, so say I create, I want to make like a polka dot pattern or something. And I'm going to start with a circle right here. So I'm going to copy or duplicate this. Bring it over to the other side. So instead of just duplicating a random, um, a random set or a random spacing, I want these to go right across the artboard and, and meet to each other. 
um, if that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, so what I'm going to do is go to, while these are both selected, I'm going to go to Object, Blend, and then go to Blending Options. And there's different things you can do in this window, but I'm going to focus on Specified Steps. So click on Specified Steps. Decide how many you think you want in there. If you don't like it, you can always come back. But I'm going to do five. And when you click OK, nothing happens. And it's weird, but that's the way Illustrator is. So then you go back to Blend, and then you hit Make. And there you go. So there you have five circles in between the other two that you, first, that you started with. Pretty cool. And so now, what if I wanted to take this, duplicate it, and I want the same thing. I want these two uh, lines of circles. Uh, to have another blend in between them. If you just click um, make blend again, it'll go diagonally, which isn't exactly what I want for this. So what you can do is you can take these two, and um, as you can see, only the outer two circles that you started with are completely outlined. But if you take these and go to object, blend, and click expand, then it'll outline all your circles, and now they're just two groupings of circles. So now with both of those groupings selected, you can go to Object, Blend, Make, and now you have uh, five more rows in between them, creating a perfect and actually seamless polka dot pattern. So, and then if you want to, you can go to Object, Blend, and expand all of those so you can separate all of those out. And if you want to say, make this row, this row, and this row a different color, then you can do that really, really easily. So there you go. There's my tutorial. I hope you like those tools, and I know that they'll save you a lot of time. Get to know them, get familiar with them, and you can space things out in a cinch.